Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Yankees, and today I got a great gameplay for you guys. This is a gameplay of King of the Hill. Now, this is an objective gameplay, and if you've never played King of the Hill, uh, this is, for instance, okay, let's just say you play COD, right? If you play COD, this is headquarters. Um, there's one spot on the map, it's a ring, and you have to hold down that ring for 60, I believe, it's either 69 or 70 seconds, I'm not sure. And basically, the team that holds it down the most and gathers 150 points wins the game. Now, this game mode is, or oh, will probably be the last time you actually see this game mode on my channel. I'm, I'm going to say probably because you know how, you know, of course, situations change. And, you know, I don't like giving up on things. So I'll say, you know what, I'm going to go back into it. But um, this game mode is really, really uh, frustrating in that everyone chooses to use the shotguns. Now, I had complained about the shotguns uh, earlier in some of my commentaries, and I decided to put uh, this gameplay up. Now, when you play TDM, you really, I mean, you run into shotguns, but it's, 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 it's not as much. The reason is because here you have to run to the objective. If, if you're not playing the objective, there's no point of playing this game. So, everyone on the, on the map knows exactly where you're going. They're able to engage you or approach you in a certain way way that really allows them to use a shotgun against you. So that's why this game mode is pretty difficult and uh, it's so plagued by shotguns. Everyone knows where you're going to go and they know how to approach you and they know exactly where to roll to. Now when you play TDM, uh, it's more open, it's more controlled, you know how you can engage your enemies, you can flank them, you can keep your distance, use more of the Lancer to your advantage instead of having to come up close and get the shotgun kill. Um, so the shotgun kill is more, I guess, um, more of an option to use in TDM. Here it's just a must to use because you, you gotta hold off uh, the, uh, the ring and you have to defend it and defend the position and basically use the shotgun to your advantage to get those one shot killed. Everyone uses them and it's, uh, there'll be a situation here in the game where I think I die by a shotgun about five times in a row. And I kind of cut a lot of this game out. This game was about 18 minutes and I refuse to put uh, long, long gameplays on my channel because it keeps you guys um, like, when is this going to end? Is this ever going to end? Um, so I don't like to put up long videos. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do put up long videos and they are uh, really entertaining. But on a personal level, I don't like to do it. Uh, don't doesn't mean that, you know, I don't like watching it. But sometimes there are people that put up game modes and they're either just complaining for 18 minutes or, you know, are quiet for 20 minutes. It's just weird. So, you know, for some people it works, for others it doesn't. For me, um, it perhaps would work, but I don't want to keep you guys here um, that long. So I cut off a lot of the gameplay um, from the channel. And right here, I'm here playing the objective because that's what I like to do. And you guys will see me use the shotgun like everyone else uses it. But I think I use it. I'm not doing all the rolling and, uh, you know, the roly-poly and, you know, the, all the other stuff that people do. I just, you know, defending a spot, I'm holding down an area. They obviously know where I'm at because this, when you take cover, it's not like you're completely hidden. Uh, you're able to be seen, and I'm able to take them out with a shotgun one-shot kills. Now, I, I'm, I've, I've chose to really not complain about um, the shotguns uh, after this point. Like, after this point, I will not have a commentary where I complain about the shotgun. Because I just, I, I refuse to play a game and complain about it. And I can't afford to put this game down. So I'm not going to, you know, worry about the situation. I'm just going to have fun. You know, I'm going to throw Katie out the window. I'm going to throw win-loss out the window. I'm just going to throw it all out the window. And just try to see this game for what it is. And it's a fun time. Get some good gameplays for you guys. And that is it. Um, I'm not going to talk about, you know, uh, shotguns. I think they should be patched, etc., etc. If they want to patch it, they patch it. If they don't want to patch it. Uh, so be it. I'm just gonna try to do my thing and have some fun. If I go negative, I go negative. If I go positive, then I'll record it and put it up. And uh, if I go negative and got a uh, weird game or something that that I can tell you guys as far as um what to do, what not to do, because they'll have those games that I go negative, and uh, it's because I'm running out in the middle of the map or I'm doing something wrong or I'm constantly um, finding myself uh, surrounded by enemies. So if I get gameplays like that, then I'll put them up just so I can give you guys some information on what to do or what not to do in that situation. Um, and basically that'll help you guys get better at this game and I'm gonna try to help you guys get better this game because you know the few tips that I gave earlier in that video where I said you know use these tips to get uh, better games they are good but they only work for TDM 
Um, so uh, if you're playing King of the Hill, uh, I, I can't I can't really give you any tip as as far as get a team together. If you want to play King of the Hill, if you want to play any objective mode, I really haven't played any of the objective modes. I know there's a game mode where it's like one life. So if you play SOCOM, it's like classic. Uh, if you play COD, it's like search and destroy. Except for the bomb plan thing, it's just you gotta basically you have one life and then you gotta kill your enemies by execution. This is weird. I don't know what. What happened there if he spawned and he couldn't move, but I killed him, went to the other guy, I killed him the same way, and then the other guy was the same way. I don't know if I ran the spawn or there was something wrong or they weren't playing at all, but, you know, I got three quick kills there. Um, I can't say by fluke, but by luck, I, I guess. I, I, was able, I was at the right time, at, at the right place at the right time, and was able to pick up those three kills. And right here, they run in the spawn and just trying to clean them out, get that one shot with the shotgun, and just staying in the objective. Uh, so yeah, so if you're playing, you want to play game mode, if you want to play one of these game modes, try to get a team together, a, a team of your few buddies that can, you know, you guys can communicate and work together and play the objective. Um, but apart from that, if you're playing alone, uh, if you're good with the shotgun, if you're good at the game, then go ahead, by all means, do what you want to do and, you know, uh, continue playing. If you're not that good, stay away from this game mode. Um, it is really, really frustrating. Yes, you get massive amount of points. Yes, you rank up very, very quickly. But is it worth ranking up very quickly and be frustrated at the same time for, you know, 17 or 18 minutes that you play the game? I don't think so. It'll just discourage you from wanting to play the game. So just stay away from King of the Hill. Um, play TDM. TDM is really, really fun. Um, it's more controlled. You can engage uh, what you do and how you engage people and really... Uh, you can eliminate the shotgun, honestly, from TDM. Not completely, because there's always those situations where people get, you know, lucky where they're using cover and they get around the cover and they get at you when you're not looking and hit you with a shotgun. You know, that's that's uh that's not that's unpreventable. You understand what I'm saying? But if you're avoiding the middle of the map, if you're you know circling the map and and uh, getting them getting the enemies when they're least expecting it, then the shotgun probably won't will be an issue. And I still get good scores on TDM. For instance, I graduated casual, and if you guys didn't know. Um, when you start off this game, you have the casual playlist, you have the standard, and I forgot what was the other one, but, um, basically casual is for people that are starting off. Now, I've been playing for a while, I'm like level 24 now, so, um, I kind of graduated casual, so I'm no longer in casual, and I can only play standard. Standard is basically more tougher, you have people that are higher ranks, or uh, ranks from 20 and up, and, uh, basically you can either play ranked or quick match, and the competition is way better, so, um, uh, it'll help me out and uh, improve my skill because you know you're only as good as as the people you play. So if you're playing casual and getting really really good scores, sometimes it may be because you're playing against bots or because the people aren't too good. So your skills are really proven when you play standard or ranked matches, which I haven't played a ranked match. I tried it, but I think it's best if you have a team and play ranked matches because you know you're not uh, being destroyed constantly by teams. Well, my final score was 30 kills and I had 13 captures and uh, five breaks and breaks are when the enemy has the uh, ring and you run in and stop and pause their capturing ability that's a break so I had five of those so please rate comment subscribe if you haven't done so my name is Yankees and I'm out PEACE